In this instructional video, we are going to cover how to set up your Cavro Air Displacement Pipetter Starter Kit. This includes setting up the ADP hardware, installing the Cavro Fusion software, and connecting to your ADP. To allow connection and sending commands to the pump, you will need a Windows-based computer with a USB port. If your starter kit came with Cavro Fusion software on a CD, then you will also need an optical drive for installation. Open the box carefully to make sure you don't damage any contents. Then carefully unbox the individual components that make up the ADP starter kit. These include a fully configured Cavro ADP, DA15 to ADP adapter board, a flat flexible cable kit with strain relief clamp, and your Cavro integration kit, which includes the Cavro hub, USB cable, a 3 amp power supply, an RS-485 bus cable. Also comes with the Cavro Fusion software. The Cavro Fusion software provides you the ability to easily connect to and operate TCAN Cavro modules through any Windows-based PC. And finally, four packs each of 50 microliter and 1000 microliter conductive filtered TCAN disposable tips. First, let's configure your ADP. The ADP communicates via RS-485 serial communication or CAN communication. For this example, we are going to set the ADP dip switches for serial communication at a baud rate or communication speed of 9600. To do this, we only need to change one dip switch setting from its default position. Using a small pin or other sharp tool, carefully move dip switch 8 to the down position. Remove the red cap from the tip of the ADP probe. This cap protects the tip during shipping. Note the ADP will not initialize if the cap is in place. Now let's assemble your ADP starter kit. It's important to fully assemble the starter kit before providing it any power. So we will save plugging the power supply into the wall for the last step. Insert the FFC flat flexible cable into the adapter board and the ADP. Note the orientation of the connections on the cable when connected to the board and the ADP. It's important that the contact pins on the ribbon cable are aligned with the contact pins on the adapter board and the ADP. Be sure the cable is fully inserted and straight to ensure good contact and prevent damage. Connect the serial bus cable to the Cavro hub and to the adapter board. Connect the USB cable to the Cavro hub and to your PC. This completes all connections required for communication. Computer to Cavro hub to adapter board to ADP. Now let's make the power connections. Plug the power cord into the Cavro hub and then plug the power supply into any standard outlet. A light on the Cavro hub indicates the power is on. Another light on the hub confirms communication with your PC. Next, check the LED on the side of the ADP near the dip switches. The light provides device status. Flashing green with a brief flashing red indicates your ADP has power but has not yet been initialized. Flashing green indicates the ADP is initialized and ready for use. Solid red indicates that the ADP is in an error state. Let's install the Cavro Fusion software and Cavro Hub communication driver. Install the CD or USB stick into your PC and follow the prompts to install the software. Following the installation steps is easy. Next, and this is an important step, go to the folder on your computer where you installed the software and double click on the executable file in the FTDI folder to manually install the USB driver. This is needed for the laptop to correctly recognize and communicate with the Calvro Hub. This step only needs to be done the first time you use a new laptop with the Calvro Hub. Open the Calvro Fusion software. It will immediately begin to scan the communication ports. After completion, the Modules Detected pop-up window will be displayed with the ADP shown as a detected device. Click Yes to finish opening Fusion software. Note this action may automatically trigger the ADP to initialize. 
If the ADP was not automatically discovered, rescan after verifying that the Cavro Hub driver is correctly communicating with the laptop. Power and communication lights on the Cavro Hub indicate the correct cabling, the ADP dip switches are set correctly, and the ADP LED is illuminated. The Cavro Fusion software window includes four panes. The detected modules pane at the upper left displays all Cavro modules connected to your computer, in this video just one ADP. The properties pane at the lower left displays information about the currently selected module, such as the COM port, device address, and embedded firmware version. The log pane at the lower right is a communication snapshot displaying commands that are sent to and from the device. The modules pane at the upper right contains two tabs, the demo tab and the scripts tab. The demo tab is a simple drag and drop push button interface to visually demonstrate a few key features of the ADP, such as initialization, plunger movement, the disposable tip presence sensor, and use of the pressure sensor for liquid level detection. The script tab is a versatile text-based command interface window to write, test, and run test scripts. In the Fusion scripting window, the pump name is displayed, usually ADP1. As shown in the text at the top of the window, the command syntax in Fusion is the device ID, followed by a colon, and then the command. Any response from the device will be displayed over to the right after a less than symbol. When you add a colon after the device name, some suggested commands may pop up to help with your programming. Either select from the suggested commands or continue typing to override. You can enter a single command or a long string of many commands together on one line. There are a few ways to execute commands and command strings in Fusion software. Selecting the green play button will execute all lines in the scripting window from top to bottom. Highlighting or selecting one or more lines with your mouse followed by the green play button will execute just those commands. Finally, double clicking on a single line will execute just that line. For more Fusion use details and tips, please review the Fusion manual, which was installed on the computer with the software. Back to the ADP. Enter the WR command to initialize the ADP. That's capital W, capital R. Following initialization, the LED flashes green without the occasional red flashes. This indicates the ADP has been initialized and is ready to accept action commands. The log file displays and records to the computer all commands and is visible in the bottom right panel of the screen. Notice also that Fusion Software automatically sends the capital Q or query command during command execution to monitor the pump status and any error condition at all times. Please refer to the ADP manual for more information on the Q command. Now let's try a report command. Send the question mark 76 command to query the pump configuration. Notice that the capital R or execute command may auto append to the end of the command. Execute commands are not necessary when sending query or reporting commands and may be omitted. The pump response is displayed on the command line and also in the log. Notice that even though the, de the device is configured for serial communication at a 115k baud rate, we have overridden that setting and are communicating with the ADP at a 9600 baud rate according to the position of dip switch 8. Of course, getting the ADP initialized and communicating it's only the first step in your use of the ADP. Refer to the ADP manual for the full range of pipetting and other commands. I hope this short introduction video has been helpful. If you have any questions getting started or with any other usage issues, please contact TCAN's technical support line. We are here for you.